Hey, happy Tuesday. I'm very happy because the warm weather is back. Now, I'm still using my old phone, so when I take off from this parking lot, it's gonna look like we're having an earthquake, but we're not. Um, my phone is just shaky as hell now. It what? It didn't used to be. And I'll tell you what, after the last update, the little updates they make you do on your phone after that last update, my phone now acts like it has Parkinson's disease. It just shakes all the time. And I don't mean anything against Parkinson's disease, actually. Both of my grandfathers had Parkinson's, and I'm over-explaining my apology. But you know what I'm saying. Shaking, 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 shaking. Shimmying and shaking all over the place. Anyway, I've got my new phone, but... Um, I'm still trying to sort all that out. Plus, I do, I've do. i ordered a case and a screen protector, but they have not come yet. Hopefully, they'll be here in the next day or so. And until I have a case and a screen protector on it, I really don't want to use it. You know, because I know my luck. I'm not one to go around dropping my phone, but I promise you, if I don't have a screen protector and a case on it, I'll drop it. I will look at it wrong, and it will fall on the floor and probably burst into flames. I don't know. It would shatter into a thousand pieces because <sighs> that's just the luck I have so anyway I did take it out today to test out the camera I had an idea for a video this morning I thought it would be fun to go to the baking aisle I say bacon but it sounds like I'm saying bait b-a-c-o-n like y'all have an aisle for bacon well kind of you go over to the refrigerated meats and little bacon aisle over there but um damn it's hot in here I, I'm not complaining. I love this weather. I, I hate the cold. This is great. It's 82 outside right now. I'm in a tank top. I'm happy as a clam. So, I thought it would be fun to take that phone and test it out on the baking aisle. Looking at things like cake mixes and, you know, I don't know, brownie mixes and all the sweets and all the icings and I don't know, just whatever I could find on the baking aisle. So, I spent about 40 minutes over there this morning with my new phone, but I'm handling it like a newborn baby. Like, I am being so careful with this phone. I am cradling it with both hands. I am holding it ever so gently yet firmly the entire time. By the time I got done, my hand was like a claw. Like, I couldn't... It took me a little bit to get my fingers back to where they'd work because I had held them like this for 40-some minutes holding that phone in a, in a very delicate but firm death grip a clingy girlfriend you know that's the way I was holding that phone because I was paranoid and as soon as I got done I put it in my purse in a little protective sleeve like I'm, I'm guarding it like the hope diamond or something but uh I meant to get a bunt pan while I was in there not a butt pan a bunt 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 damn it sometimes I can't talk b-u-n-d-t bunt I have to remember that everybody, you know, I need subtitles on my videos. Like, everybody does not speak Southern, and sometimes I'll say things, and people go, what did she say at this point? What was that? A bunt pan. A, well, the recipe calls for a 10-inch, shit, what was it? 10-inch tube pan, and I'm going, what in the hell is a tube pan? I've never heard it called a tube, tube, T-U-B-E, tube. I've never heard it called a, a tube pan. I do not possess one. I don't have one. So, I was going to try to look for one at Walmart. God, I was looking at them on Amazon. Those things are about $20 on Amazon. And I'm looking at it like, I'm not paying $20 damn dollars for a bunt pan. That's crazy. For one that I might use exactly one time and never touch again. Um, but I want to make, I found this recipe yesterday for a Kentucky butter cake. Listen to how I say those three words. Kentucky butter butter cake. My son is laughing at me. He's always laughing at me for the way I talk. Kentucky butter cake. Yeah. Kentucky butter cake. It actually looks pretty simple. It looks very rich, but the ingredients are pretty simple. Um, the only thing I didn't have was a bunt pan and uh, almond extract. I had everything else. I had to go get some extra butter, though. I didn't have enough butter for this recipe. I looked in my refrigerator and it's like, yeah, I got nothing for you, baby. You got to go to the store. So, I got the almond almond extract stuff. Well, I didn't get actual almond extract because it was expensive. 
um, all they had were these giant containers of it, and it was expensive. I just bought the almond flavor. The box said it's good, so I'm going to take it. It was cheaper, I know that. So I got almond flavor. That's close enough. I don't, I don't care. I'm not paying seven or eight dollars for almond extract. All they had were the big things of it. There was a spot for a smaller one, but they were out. Anyway, I just got the almond flavor. I, I don't give a shit. I'm back at Costco. You know what I'm here for? My sunglasses that Blossom said would not work and that I would not be able to see through and she wished me luck because she's a bitch. Yeah, oh, if she's in there, she's not waiting on me today. I'm not, I'm not dealing with her today. I'm absolutely not dealing with her. I will just wait. If she's the only person available, I'll just tell her flat out, I'll just wait. Well, I can help you. No, you're not helping me. You've done enough. I'll get somebody else to wait on me, not you. I don't care. She can take her weird ass eyeliner and go somewhere else. Look like she put it on with one of those fat Sharpies. Like, who does that? Anyway, it, it had a zigzag in a weird place. I've never seen eyeliner like that. I don't give a shit about her eyeliner. I just know she's not a nice person and she was very rude to me. And she, I, I'm not going to put up with her today. I'm just not. Screw Blossom. She can wait on somebody else. She can offend somebody else today. So I'm going to go in here, and God, this place is crowded. I'm going to go in here. I have been to Costco way too many times in the last week. I was just here yesterday. I'm still trying to straighten out the whole phone situation. I have gotten the run around six ways to Sunday from AT&T about these phones and the new plan and everything. And if the service I've received so far is what I can expect from here on out, I have made a grave mistake switching from Verizon to AT&T. I have made a huge mistake. I have not had good service at all so far. I'm not happy with them. Look at those carts. Got a long train of carts going back there. All their cart guys dress like they're going on safari. I'm not even complaining. I'm kind of jealous. I like their hats. So I'm going to go in there and get my sunglasses. I just left. There's a little Goodwill down here. And I, I did really well at that Goodwill um, about a week ago. I, I just happened to stop by there and they had just brought out this rack of, of clothes. And on this rack, I don't mean anything by this, but some little old man who loved golf must have passed away because that entire rack was small sized, expensive golf shirts and sweaters and long sleeve shirts. It was all golf stuff, like expensive golf stuff. I cleared that. I bought a bunch of that stuff. I bought tons of it. Glenda the Good Witch got some of it because he's he wears a small. And uh, so I picked out stuff that I thought he would like and I let him have that. The rest of it I put on eBay. I've already more than made back all the money I spent at Goodwill that day. Um, one of the, A single one of the sweaters. There was a vintage polo v-neck sweater um, that had the stripes right here. I sold it for 40 some dollars plus shipping. And I've sold a bunch of the other things, too. So, yeah, that was fun. And normally, I don't have good luck in that Goodwill. So, I was really happy to find a whole rack of stuff come out all at once. And I bought a whole bunch of stuff. There was Nike Golf, Callaway, um, Under Armour, North Face, Polo. I mean, just tons of stuff. All these things. And a lot, a lot of it was like golf kind of stuff. Not all of it, but a lot of it was golf stuff. And I know from that trip to Golf Galaxy that that stuff is expensive. And probably a lot of it came from that Golf Galaxy that's right over here. And sometimes I feel kind of bad because I'm looking through the clothes on the rack and it's like, somebody died. That's the, o that's the only explanation for all this stuff being here. Somebody passed, they either passed away or they just gained a bunch of weight or lost a bunch of weight and got rid of these clothes that don't fit them now. I'm hoping that it was just a weight thing and that they didn't die. Sometimes I'm looking at it going, somebody's Meemaw died and they're cleaning out her closet. Oh, Because you'll just have a wide variety of stuff. And maybe, that, I know that's not it all the time, but you know, you know, by, just by chance, sometimes that's what it is. So I thought I could recreate my experience. I went in there. I didn't find a lot. Um, I found a really nice men's Columbia jacket that I'm going to offer to Glenda the Good Witch. He has three teenage boys and they're always, you know, they like they like stuff like that. And 
they're different sizes, so I thought this jacket will fit at least one of them. It's too big for him, but it would. I bet it'd fit at least one of his kids. Um, I'm always looking for stuff for people. And I found, for me, I found four Under Armour tank tops, really super cute. They were $4.49 each minus my 15% discount. I got the jacket for 15% off too because I have the little card that you pay for once a year and you get 15% off pretty much everything in the store every time you go. What else did I get? I got a really nice North Face hoodie for myself um, and I think that's it. No, I bought a pair of shoes to put on eBay. I'm, I'm kind of getting back into eBay a little bit just to keep, you know, to stay in practice listing things and selling things and you kind of have to stay in practice a little bit, so I've been I've been selling on eBay off and on since 1999. Now in the past I did a lot more than I do now, but I still sell some stuff on there occasionally. I do, and I'll tell you what: when my kids were small and um, I was on my own with them, it put a lot of food in my shopping cart. It paid for a lot of meals, took care of a lot of bills. The the money I made selling things on eBay got us through some really tough times financially and I was so grateful to have to have you know something I could do in my spare time you know like nights and weekends because I have little kids I you know I have no family in this area to watch my kids you gotta pay for a babysitter that's expensive but something I can do at night after the kids go to bed or on the weekends I can list things and at night on weeknights I can package things up and take them to the post office the next day and you know it 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 helped me a lot. It helped me through a lot of tough financial times, and I still like to do it. I still kind of enjoy it, just to see what I can sell, you know. I don't know. So, yeah, anyway, I better get on in there, because I need to get home. I got to record a voiceover for the baking video. It was very noisy in there. I can't use the original video. The video looks really good, though. The video I took with my new phone looks really sharp. It is very nice. I was very pleased with it. Um, I didn't change the settings or anything. I just hit, you know, I just pulled up the video and hit record, and it looks good. It looks damn good. So I take it home. I, I transfer it over to my laptop. I run it through the video editing software to strip all the sound out of it, and then I will record. I will go back and watch it again and record a voiceover and then put them together. So it takes a little longer than a normal video where I don't do that, but the sound will be much better then if I tried to use the original sound because it was early in the morning employees were slamming boxes yelling back and forth it was very loud in there this morning so yeah so I couldn't use the original audio the original audio wasn't all that interesting anyway it was just the, the background noise was so bad it was distracting so damn we got four military helicopters flying over they're Hueys, I believe. Isn't that what they're called? You can't see them. One, two, three, four. Look where they're going. That's weird. You don't see that here very often. That's unusual. Anyway, I'm going to get into Costco and avoid Blossom and go pick up my sunglasses. Let's hope they work. If they don't, I don't give a shit because they were useless anyway. Maybe they'll work. I don't see why they wouldn't. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to quit talking now. Um, nothing else exciting has happened today. <laughs> and then I'm going to go get my tube pan, which I forgot it. I went. I, I was in Walmart earlier, and I meant to get one, and I forgot. I imagine I can find them cheaper than $20 in there. I, it could just be a cheap one. I don't care. I just need a 10-inch tube pan for this butter cake I want to make. Which I might do Thursday if possible. I'm not going to be able to do it today or tomorrow, but maybe Thursday. We'll see. Thank you so much for being here. I hope your Tuesday is fabulous. And I will see you again soon.